Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing a full face with Shop Miss A's house brand AOA Studio. I recently did a like gigantic haul of things I bought from Shop Miss A. I'll have that haul up in the cards if you missed it. The majority of the products I'm going to be using today is going to be from that haul. It's also going to be a little bit of some PR that they recently passed along my way as well. Um, but it is, I want to say 99% Shop Miss A because I realize there's it's like one product that I don't have from Shop Miss A. And I don't even know if they have that product available in their AOA Studio line yet, not that I've seen. Uh, so we're going to do like a chatty get ready with me full face using all Shop Miss A products. If you are interested in purchasing anything from Shop Miss A, the only affiliate link that I actually have is with Shop Miss A. The link is in my description box, in the description box of all of my uh, videos. But please do not feel pressured or anything to use it. It's just there if you would like to. I do get a single digit commission kickback if you do click that link and then make any purchases on Shop Miss A's website. So we have a nice mix today. A lot of these are old, tr like tried and true favorites that I do enjoy. And then some of these are going to be new products that I'm testing for the first time. So I'm sure this is going to be a long video. Let's go ahead and get started. For primer, I'm going to start with a new primer that I have not tried. I've tried a couple of primers from Shop Miss A and I have really enjoyed them. But this one's new to me. This is the Clean Slate Primer. And this is supposed to, I believe, be a pore filling primer. Yeah. Oh, no, it's different. It's like creamier than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to take... I'm just gonna put this in with my hands. Oh, it smells nice, like a nice face moisturizer. I like just did my nails, so they still look a little messy. I'm not the best at doing my nails, so typically any um, like nail polish that gets outside of the lines or off my skin, I just wait till I shower and then it comes off then. <laughs> Feels nice, I really like that scent. It's not too strong of a scent. It just smells like clean and fresh which is nice, it's called a clean slate. So for foundation, I had a couple of products that I picked up during that last haul. One was like an old, old favorite of mine, but I didn't wanna use that because I've used that so often and I've bought it like so many times already. Um, I've got these two to pick from. So first I've got the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. I bought this BB Cream a couple of years ago and like didn't really like it, but I haven't tried it since. And I kind of wanted to revisit it and see if, if, you know, I like it any better, if I apply it any differently, if it works any differently on my skin. Um, and then this one's brand new to me. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the Pro Wear Foundation. And this was new a few months ago, and then it was sold out for a while, and I finally got my hands on it. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is like really supposed to be like the super full coverage one. Oh, and I just realized I did not wet my sponge. So I will be right back. And we are back. Sure, I spent like half an hour getting everything ready to film this video and I forgot to wet my sponge. And of course, I'm using my favorite sponge. This is the Black Teardrop Sponge from Shop Miss Okay, so I think I kind of want to apply this with a brush first. Um, so I'm going to just take this round top kabuki and I'll start with a little bit because I think I've used this once or twice and it's like really full coverage and I don't want to like overdo it with the cake face. And you can see it really is full coverage. So I'm going to blend this out a little bit like this. Um, and then I like to smooth it out with a sponge. So let's do that. Okay, so I think I'm good down here. I'm just going to use the sponge now to finish like up on my forehead. So I'm going to use just a little squeeze. There we go. Well, it took a while to squeeze out. I'm going to do a little tap here, a little tap there, and then the rest up on the forehead. So it seems that this dries down like really quickly. So you don't really have a whole lot of time to work with it before it begins to set. And I got a little spot right here and that's not really behaving nicely. What is going on right there? So I've noticed that I've got like a particular dry spot right here that doesn't react well to certain foundations. So I think if you have dry skin, you might want to steer clear of this because it isn't really working that great on my like drier areas. You can see up here, it's not fantastic. And it does dry down, like I said, very quickly. Moving on to concealer, an oldie but a goodie I have is the original just AOA Studio Liquid Concealer. These are the Paw Paw Concealers. And I think I'm going to go with the shade fair ivory because i am looking a little ghostly <laughs> we are going to hopefully warm that up in a little bit but for now i'm going to go with just a slightly darker concealer shade and i might use that all over my face so i'm just taking a regular concealer brush 
am of course going to do under my eyes. Bring that up to the nose a little bit. <laughs> then I'm going to do a little bit on the forehead, a little on the chin, just to even out this a bit. Alrighty, to set my face, I'm going to use a combination of loose powder and a pressed powder. I've got these two loose powders from the AOA line. I've got the shade Soft Light and then like the matte translucent shade. And I think since I'm looking a little pale today, I'm going to go with the Soft Light, which is like a light kind of yellow shade. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the pressed powder, and this is the shade 152 Porcelain. My favorite part about losing, using loose powder is how I managed to get it like all over my shirt. <laughs> Moving on, we're at the point now where we hit the roadblock of the one Shop Misse product I don't have. I have not seen any bronzers or contours in their Shop Miss A line. I've checked everywhere. Honestly, I probably could just get darker shades of their face powder and try using that, which I think I'm probably going to do the next time I place an order. But for now, since I don't have one, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula uh, Matte Butter Bronzer as a bronzer. And then as a slight contour, I'm going to use this Burberry Earthy Blush because I just have a lot of pan in it and I like expanding the pan. Some new products to my collection that have absolutely blown me out of the water and that I've grown to love <laughs> are these blushes from Shop Miss A. So I didn't use these because I had some other products to use, um, but these two cream blushes, these are the Hush blushes. Uh, I adore these. They're supposed to be, I believe, um, it is a sheer blush that you can use on your lips and on your cheeks, and they're just so pretty to use. I have like this really bright pink shade, and this is in the shade Passion. Um, I'm gonna break a nail just trying to get this one open, but this shade, it's beautiful. Um, and then this shade is, yep, watch me break the nail. I just spent an hour painting. And then this is the shade Cozy. This is so pretty. So having such great like cream blushes for a dollar, that is awesome. So um, I didn't use them today, but I have been using them and I adore them. For today, I want to use a combo of their uh, Lumi blushes. So these are the Radiant Baked Blushes, and they're very, very pretty. And I want to use just like a little bit of both and see how they turn out. So I've got like this nice light kind of pink shade, and, like this little deeper kind of uh, rosy shade. So I'm just going to honestly mix them together. I've used them both um, individually and mixed together, and I do enjoy them. And they're super pigmented, just like cool. I just show up a little bit more on camera. But recently, I've been loving going for like a bit of a blusher heavy look, especially since I went a bit light on the bronzer today. I think we're just gonna really go ham on the blush. I don't know what we're gonna do for eyeshadow yet. I was sent two new eyeshadow palettes in PR, so I'm not gonna bring it over my nose like I kind of want to because I really don't know what color eyeshadow I'm gonna do yet. But I'm gonna do that. And I love to blend out my blush using a dual fiber brush, so I'm just gonna go in. And blend it all together. Next, I have a highlighter. It's also a baked highlighter from their line, and this is in the shade Bon Bon. Again, since I don't know what I'm gonna do with eyeshadow, I didn't want to go with like a colored um, highlighter because I do. I did get a, a like a purple highlighter from them as well, but since I don't know what I'm doing yet, we're just gonna go in with this. And this is actually um, a brush I got from Shop Massey as well. This is the F19 highlighter brush. I've tried a couple of different brushes with this baked formula. I did get a comment that somebody said these are kind of like the Elf baked highlighters where you had to like take a spoolie and scrape off the top layer to get product on. Um, I've noticed that with super fluffy brushes like this ABH brush that's super fluffy like this it does not pick up the product really well or blend it out nicely but a more dense brush like the Shop Miss A brush works perfectly fine. So I'm going to take some of this on my cupid's bow on the tip of my nose then oh, I'm going to go there. And this shade is just such a very pretty, like, light, bright white. Because I am Casper. Though when we do get fully vaccinated, I am going to be excited to actually go out and do things this summer. Because I have been working from home and staying home, you know, being safe. 
Um, but I really want to go like to the beach or this basin between people. Um, and then this fall, I really want to go to like farms. Here in Jersey, we've got a lot of farms. You can do like pumpkin picking and stuff. Oh, I just, I can't wait. Can't wait. Alvin actually just got his first, well, his only vaccination. He got the Johnson & Johnson. And I think in a couple of weeks, I'll be um, eligible to get it. So hopefully I'll get mine soon. I also like to blend in the highlighter the same way as I did the blush, just because it gives me that really nice kind of blended full face look and i've got a lot of comments from people talking about how like my base always looks so nice so i could do the i mean i just showed you kind of my basic routine but i could do a full video of just like my base routine to get it flat and nice and have it last long because i do wear this all day next we're going to do brows so i know shamase has some brow products and i believe i've tried one a couple of years ago but they don't have a black shade and i do like black brows if you couldn't tell mm. So I'm going to take their liners and just do my brows with black liner. So I have this liquid liner, like pot liner, that's what it's called. And then I have a brush. Is it a brush liner or a felt tip? Felt tip liner. So I'm going to just try these and see if I can get my brows looking. Okay. <laughs> it's actually kind of tickles a bit. <laughs> I know it's very silly. Okay, so honestly, not terrible. Very nerve-wracking getting the outline, though. Because <laughs> that is really easy to mess up. So I am going to take a deep breath and do the other side. And then I think I'm going to try filling it in with a pot liner instead of the brush. So I think this is a bit bigger and might be helpful for filling in. Yeah, that's better for filling in. So I don't think I've ever been that anxious doing my eyebrows in a long time, <laughs> but honestly, not bad. I like how stark black they are because I used liner. And while they're looking a little bright and stark on my face because I don't have any other eye, pro eye products on, I think it's gonna look really nice. So I'm gonna hop off camera. I'm gonna prime my eyes and I'm gonna use the concealer. I use it on my under eyes and I'm gonna set it with the face powder. So I'll be using those two. And then I'll be back to play with the new eyeshadow palettes. So it's eyeshadow time. I've got these two new eyeshadow palettes in PR. Uh, the first one is the color My World palette, and it seems kind of similar to the rainbow palette they put out previously. Actually, do I still have it? I'll throw a picture up of that original rainbow palette and then this one. I don't know if that other one is still available, um, but we've got this. And I have to say, the one dud that I've kind of seen throughout Shop Miss A's AOA line is their eyeshadows. The only eyeshadow palette I did like was that original rainbow one, so I think this one will be okay, but I don't know if I'm going to dive into this one today. I kind of want to use the other palette. So the other palette is called the Moonstone palette, and if I can get it open... It's a bit more neutrally, but it's got like a nice, kind of seems like a winter kind of color story, doesn't it? But I'm really drawn towards like these two greens right here. I really want to use those. So I think we're going to do that. Yeah. So those colors are looking really pretty together. I'm gonna use this deep shade in the middle right here, I think, to darken up the outer V, bring a little bit more depth here. I'm also gonna use a card to give me a nice little wing out of this. I'm not sure what shade to use all over the lid. Maybe like this, ooh, that could look pretty. Okay, so this kind of light blue shade right here, I'm just gonna take with my finger and put all over the lid. I kind of want to bring in a different color for a pop on the lower lash line, but I don't know which color to use. Hmm. Thinking maybe the purple. So there's a deep purple shimmer here and like a light shade I could blend it out with. I think I'm going to do that.
Oh, so I like how that came out. It's like very grungy, but cute. Like very grungy spring, I think is what I was going for here. I love matching my inner corner highlight to my face highlight. So I'm gonna use that same baked highlighter that I use and just give me a nice little pop on the brow bone and the inner corner. Wow, for like not having like a clue of what I was gonna do like starting out, I think this looks really cute. <laughs> to finish up this eye look, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna try and do a wing. We'll see how the wing turns out. Those same liners that I used in my brows, we're gonna use those for the wing. I am going to use, this is actually my first time using this mascara. This is the Wisp Enhancing Mascara. I've tried other mascaras from Shop Misse, and honestly, like they weren't great, but they were different from this one. They came in like an actual plastic tube. Um, so this one looks a lot different so i'm excited to try it out and see how that actually works and then i'm gonna put on some natural looking lashes i have to say shop Mose has some of the best like affordable lashes out there so i love their lashes i've got a bunch of them but i've never tried their lash glue so it's gonna be my first time trying their lash glue and hopefully it's easy to put on because i am not the best when it comes to putting on lashes <laughs> Liner and lashes are on and we are almost done. So now we're just gonna finish up with a lip color. So in PR, I was sent the entire line of their new velvet lips. So I have like 10, I think it is, shades of this new like cream satin lipstick. And I think because of the colors I have in my eyes right now, um, I saw they had this really pretty red, but I, I don't wanna do red green. So I think I'm gonna try and go with the most neutral shade they have, which... I think it's gonna be one of these two. Actually, maybe this one. So let me open these three and we'll swatch them just to get an idea for what they look like. Mm, it's a bit corally. Mm, that might be the closest thing we've got to a light nude. Let's try this one. Yeah, that one's a bit pink. So I think I'm gonna go with like the corally orange one, like in the middle. And this is the shade Claire. Okay, so I have to say, this is like one of the most comfortable lipsticks I have put on. I think the color is still slightly off of this. I kind of wish they had like, just like a neutral kind of deep nude shade, because I think that would look really nice here. But everything here is kind of warm and like peri, peri, berry toned. Um, I think maybe on Instagram, I'll do lip swatches of all of these, but uh, let me know if you want to see a video because I did get every shade in this line, so I could do a full review later on if you guys want. So this is it for the full face with Shop Miss A. <laughs> So I can give you the reviews just right off the bat of my favorites, basically the concealer. I love it. I've bought it so many times I can't even count now. I love the powders, the loose powder and the face powder. Um, I'm a bit impressed with how the liner is holding up. And honestly, I have to say, getting the wing with the liners was actually really easy. And also the lashes. I've been using Glamnetic lashes, so I haven't had to like put lashes on, but I do like the lash glue. It actually does hold down like fairly quickly once you let it dry for 30 seconds. Um, and I do like these lashes. These are the Elizabeths, I believe. They're a more natural looking lash from them, but always a fan of those. As for the newer products to my collection that I haven't really tested fully out, I am going to come out in a few weeks or a couple of months, a full follow-up video to my haul. And I'm also going to include the products I recently got in PR. Um, and that's where after testing out the products thoroughly, I give you a full review because this, I don't want to do a first impression and pass it off as a review because it's not a review. <laughs> it's one of my pet peeves. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what your favorite product from Shop Miss A is. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.